Hi everybody, I'm out here today with my husband and my son and we are planting our seed potatoes. And because real estate is hard to come by in the garden and we didn't want to waste a bunch of garden boxes, we decided to give um, potato towers a try this year. We got this idea from Wildersted, so I'll make sure to link them below. This was not my idea, this was theirs. And it looks really, really promising. So what we did is we built some potato cages from some really sturdy welded wire. And the first layer is kind of like a nest of straw. We then added our growth medium, which is super rich, healthy soil. And we've planted our seed potatoes around the edge. Our next step is we're gonna add another layer of soil. I'll show you what that looks like after. And uh, I'll film my husband adding the straw. And so you can see how um, we put all of this together. So we've added um, just a layer of the growing medium, so the soil over top of the potatoes. And then you wanna give them a really good drink. Potatoes really need a lot of water. Whoa! <laughs> I did not give them a great drink. Excuse me here, bud. I can That's do it. better. Yeah, perfect. All right. Perfect. All right. And so then yes. our next step will be adding straw. Okay. Yes. Whoa. Hi again. <laughs> this video is all about straw. Yes. So the next step, is... after we gave a really nice big drink, is the boys are going to put another layer of straw drink. into the potato tower. Where's the water bottle? I need the drink. Oh. All right, so you want to cover your potatoes completely and ideally build a little bit of a nest so you can use a rake or some other kind of garden implement to build a bit of a nest. And then you're just going to keep repeating your layers after that. So we'll do one more layer of straw. Okay. Hey, look. Uh-oh, there's a problem. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> all right. And then um, try to build it up along the edges if you can. We found that part a little bit tricky, but I'm sure we'll learn as we go along. Then you'll add another layer of soil uh -oh. and just keep repeating your layers, kind of like a lasagna. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so we've just got another layer of soil added and the boys are putting in the seed potatoes. And you just want to do them all around the edge there. That one's got a dent in it. Well, that's okay. It's a seed potato, buddy. It doesn't matter if it's got a dent. And it does help to have kind of like larger holes in your wire because I'm we're watching. finding yeah. Yeah. instead of just trying to dump them from the top, it's a little easier to maneuver this way. I'm washing them. Okay, you haven't done any. <laughs> I've done so five. once all the seed potatoes are in around the perimeter again, we'll add a little bit more soil, we'll water them, we add straw, them and then honey, we're putting them in dirt. We don't have to clean them. <laughs> and then uh like I said, soil, some more straw, and we'll keep repeating this process until the tower is full. All right, so we're working our way up, and as you can see this time, we did a much better job building an actual nest. So once you get your potatoes in and they're covered with your soil, you want to give them a nice drink. Potatoes really need water um, to grow well. Just a little bit more on this side, and then we're just going to keep repeating the process. So next will be another layer of soil. Uh, kind of, or sorry, another layer of straw, and you really do want to try to build like a nest and have the straw up along the side, so that way your dirt doesn't come falling out from the side of the potato tower. All right, so we have our first potato tower complete. So this housed 10 pounds of seed potatoes, and it took about three wheelbarrows full of dirt, two and a half. Two and a half and um, pretty much a whole bale of straw. So if you're thinking about your supplies and what you'll need, um, one of these potato towers, like I said, did 10 pounds of seed potatoes, which is actually amazing. When we think about it, we used to do them in um, garden boxes and they would have taken up way more room this way, so. About two foot diameter. Yeah, so yeah, we went about a two foot diameter with our welded wire. Um, Four feet tall. And you definitely want to stake them in. It's really windy here. Uh, and our understanding is come harvesting, we're just going to take the stakes out and knock the towers over and we should be overwhelmed with potatoes. So as this starts to grow um, and we actually start to get some foliage and potatoes sprouting, I'll film a follow-up video to let you guys know how this system is working for us. Um, thanks so much for watching. We've got quite a few more potatoes to get into the ground so we're going to get to work. Uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you're interested in the kind of stuff I'm posting about um, I on Facebook Instagram and Twitter as well So you can follow me there and I'll link a few other videos that you might find interesting uh, But 
uh, until I see you guys next time, happy gardening and enjoy this beautiful uh, month of May. It looks like we're going to have a lot of really nice sunshine. Take care and I'll see you next time.